Avilio. Welcome, wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. If you can't already tell, I'm feeling a little bit anxious. I just acquired one of my top three related Grail items for my ever-growing Wizarding World collection. It is an item that I thought I would never ever be able to acquire since it was only sold in one location and that was not here in the USA. On October 24th, 2011, on the third floor, the Harry Potter shop opened in one of the most iconic department stores for the Christmas season. That store was Herod's of London. The wand-related item that I just acquired for my collection is the Harry Potter The Complete 8 Film Collection in the Limited Edition Elder Wand Chest, which was only available at Herod's department store going up for sale on December 2nd, 2011, and it retailed for one hundred ninety nine pound and from what I understand only three hundred of these were released. I tried looking for information on this set and I found this article posted by the Evening Standard written by Alice Denby. Gringotts style security was needed at Harrods today when 300 limited edition Elder Wand box sets arrived at the department store. Muggles are so desperate to get their hands on the sets, which include a copy of Dumbledore's wand and DVDs of all eight Harry Potter films, that they were placed in the Harrod safe deposit underneath the famous store. Dating from 1896, the safe deposit is almost as impenetrable as the Goblin Bank. The £199 box sets are exclusive to Harrods and go on sale on Friday to coincide with the release of the final film in the series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, on Blu-ray and DVD. Members of the cast will be on hand to meet fans and sign autographs on Thursday. To mark the occasion, Harrods has transformed its third floor into a real-life Diagon Alley complete with original props and costumes from the films, including Hogwarts school uniforms, Hermione's dresses and the Sword of Gryffindor. As I was trying to find some information on this set, I learned that the set was made available for sale on Amazon. But I really don't know if any of those were actually sold through Amazon itself. And if you have any information on it, please comment below. Alright, after doing some more research, I wholeheartedly realize that I have gotten extremely lucky that somebody was selling this set and I wasn't even using any liquid luck. It's just that the extreme availability of this set, I was afraid if I ever found one for sale, it would be damaged, maybe missing some items, and probably would have cost me a small fortune. None of that turned out to be true. What I did not realize, that the set I received is brand new, and never opened by the previous owner. The images that were used to sell it were from somewhere else and just used to show what the set was all about. And when I received it, I was a little bit more than upset because the package that it came in was smashed and damaged during shipping. And I was truly afraid that the contents were going to be broken. I thought about not opening it up and just leaving it boxed up and just store it away. I did just felt like I have just been defeated. But my head and heart knew I could not do that. I have to open up my items and put them on display or what's even the point of collecting? I like to share the stuff that I have with others. So I cut the sealed tape on the top of the box just to see 
if anything inside the box was broken or if there was like glass running around or just something like that. But I did not see any of it and everything in the original box looks like it was intact. So I let it sit for a few days. And today, I'm finally ready to share with you just one of 300 made of the Herods of London. Harry Potter, the complete 8 film collection in the limited edition Elder Wand chest. Here is the damaged box that this set came in. As you can see, this is proof that it's never been opened or removed from the original box. But let me just mention again that I did, already as said before, I cut the tape on the top of the box just to check for damage inside. Otherwise, this set is completely intact as the way I received it. Now, I am really nervous about opening this up because I know there will be some people out there and they're going to say that I ruined the value of this set. That I should have left it untouched even though the box is damaged. Oh well. Alright. Let's do this. I'm breaking the tape for the chest part. The first time that any of this is being exposed. Okay, this is the, the chest part. The mirrored image with the Hogwarts logo, excuse me, still has the plastic, you know, protective film on top. And the drawer, when you open it up, oh, it comes up. All the movies and everything inside are still sealed with the little gel packet. This thing has a lot of weight to it, so uh, let me put it all together and then we'll take a closer look at it. I like to leave my plastic protection on a lot of things just because it protects it. And, well, I know it would protect the mirror, but I don't like the way it looks with the mirror, so I'm removing the plastic. Oh, put that over. Okay. 
And these are the two stands that come with this. Uh, they look to be identical. They're just black and on each top it's painted in silver. Oh, actually that's metal. So that's nice. And they're not numbered or labeled, so as I said, they do look identical. Oh, and it fits nice and snug into the holes that are on top of the display here. This piece actually has a small crack in it, but that's okay because it's just it's just on the surface. And that snaps in. And then you have the elder wand. And it rests on top. So now that this has been opened for the first time, and as far as I know, they say there's only 300 of these made. Let's take a closer look at it. I just want to say, what you just witnessed could have possibly been one of the last of these sets that has remained sealed, and I just opened it. I'm having a slight euphoric feeling right now, and... It makes me wonder if this is how an anthropologist or an Egyptologist feels when they come across a tomb or about to open like a tomb up for the first time. There's just that excitement, adrenaline, and it's actually making me lightheaded because I'm still, I'm still not believing I actually own one of these pieces. And... As I said, this was one of my top three grail items that I wanted to acquire for my Wizarding World collection. And I have it. So, yeah. Let me take a little break and then we'll uh, take a closer look at each item that comes with this set. Starting with the Blu-ray set. Each of the movies are in their own Blu-ray case. And these are still wrapped in their plastic. Which to me again, it's amazing that I found this set brand new. Those are the picture cards which we'll come back to. Silica gel. and the Deathly Hollows. Oh, yes. The little ribbon makes it easy to remove these movies. Order of the Phoenix. Deathly Hollows Part 2. Chamber of Secrets. Half-Blood Prince. Prisoner of Azkaban. And the Philosopher's Stone. Now you have to remember that I'm in the United States and this set was only sold in the UK. That means all of these discs, sorry about bumping the camera, you have to remember that most of these discs will not play in my DVD Blu-ray player, and that's okay. I still have all the Harry Potter movies and Blu-rays on 4K discs. Next are the four photograph cards with the images of Voldemort. Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. These cards are made out of a nice cardstock, 
and they have an odd measurement of 5.2 inches by 7.25 inches in their size. But when they're laid out, they look really nice and I think they would look great in a frame and hung up on the wall. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep them in their original plastic envelope that they came in and inside the chest. Here's the Elder Wand that comes with this set. I do believe it is made by the Noble Collection and I base this by comparing this wand with the Elder Wand from the Noble Collection that I have in my wand collection. They look the same though there are some slight color variations between the two ones. And this is the one that came with the set. It's much more darker in color. And if you notice, the tag or the runes on it are in a gray and white with a black wash color, while the Noble Collection's release is a beige color. Besides the color differences, this Elder Wand is the same as the regular Noble Collection Elder Wand. And the final piece to this set from Herod's is the black mirrored wand display chest that will hold all the contents of the set within the pull-out drawer. And the wand stands on top. Now, the box part of this display chest measures 17.5 inches wide, 7.5 inches in depth, and 4.5 inches in box height. The total height with the wand stand is 8.75 inches. The wand sits on the mirrored top of the chest. It has the Hogwarts shield on it and there are two black arms that have pegs that plug into the mirrored top. The top of the stands are made out of a pewter type metal. And when displayed with the wand on the stands, it really makes this to be a beautiful display. I am grateful to have this set in my collection. It will be placed on one of my shelves and kept on display. I'm still a little bit shaken that I actually own this piece. And if I were to change anything about this set, I would have used the symbol of the Deathly Hollows on the mirror instead of the Hogwarts shield. Other than that, I have nothing to say that's bad about this extremely limited set. Usually at this point in my videos I would say if you'd like to purchase so and so item for your very own you can purchase it directly from so and so's website and I'll leave a link in the description below. But I cannot do that with this. This set is so limited, just 300 made. I doubt that another one will go up for sale from somebody's collection anytime soon and I highly doubt it'll be brand new like the one that I just acquired 
even though the box was damaged during shipping. I have been searching auction sites, social media, and community boards for this set for several years now. And that is why I consider it one of my grail items. And I have been more than happy to share it with you today. So, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video review today. If you did, please do me a favor by clicking on that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel if you're not already doing so. I really do appreciate it and remember to help me out by sharing this video with your family and all of your friends so that I may gain a bigger audience. Thank you and have a most wonderful day.